What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and News. Now, I've been doing good. I've been keeping my promise to not consistently post back to back videos on this topic. But for those of you who have been sending me messages, no update yet since the last update I did on Shamia's daughter being in the hospital. So, once Shamia confirmed that she's out of the hospital and everything is going well, I will give you all an update but a few of you have also been asking about shidina and how her treatment is going so she went on instagram live and so so i said why not let me just go ahead and post it happy monday good people i hope everybody had a great start to their week today so i just wanted to do this video just because today was an absolutely amazing day um i was in my new office today and then i noticed um this morning when i woke up that yesterday was the first day since my treatment that I was able to eat like a full meal and not have any discomfort or have any problems. So I'm really feeling like myself. So I just wanted to do a video and share that, that I feel 100% better since my first treatment. And um, that's it. I'm thankful. I'm just thankful for a normal day. Y'all have a great day and a great rest of your week. Thank you guys. I am feeling well today. I'm feeling well. I am blessed and highly favored. Hi, Nia. Um, I've been asked multiple times about doing a video and sharing about, uh, I guess, how I discovered my lumps. And so I've been putting it off and not getting it done. So I thought I would go live today with you guys and share. Of course, I'm not the first person to be diagnosed. And um, I've met a lot of wonderful people in a little bit of time um, that have shared their story about their treatment, about their diagnosis. And I'm just so thankful to have you guys truly truly thankful people have been in my inbox with scriptures healing scriptures and just i'm just overjoyed and overwhelmed with love and i really do appreciate it and um this new family that i have of breast sisters and um, survivors i'm just thankful but today is a great day i feel well i went to church this morning um, and some of my church family, they came and visited me in my home and brought me some really sweet gifts. And so that was really, 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 really nice. Really, really nice. And if you are a breast sister or survivor or going through treatment, send me those pink hearts. I love seeing them and know that I am here to support you guys just as much as you guys have been here to support me. Um, again, this is a completely new journey for me. Um, you know, I've known people with breast cancer, have close friends and family that have uh, had it, but you really don't understand it until you are actually in it. it it's a lot. And um, I have a newfound respect for women or anyone that's going through a cancer battle and what that looks like in that treatment. But um, I'm going I'm going to get through this and um well we gonna get through this it's already done right it's already done believe in god for it it's finished and we're just gonna write the story and um we're gonna not allow the journey to do us we're gonna get through it so anyway, really quickly because i do have a a meeting so again i was asked to share how i discovered my lumps um, there are women out there that have lumps and don't feel comfortable with getting themselves checked early detection is so is so important and key okay so i and this and again this is quick fast so in december the week before christmas um i discovered the lumps in my breast and i have two lumps in one breast and i um i thought it was just normal breast changes with um but since i was pregnant so I really didn't think too much about it and I just planned to let my doctor know of course dr. Walters know when I went for my visit so I let her know um, she felt them she said okay yeah, I feel them and so we're gonna do what we need to do and get you in for a breast ultrasound 
So I called that same day and normally with me as busy as I am, I would have set that paper down and be like, okay, I'll call and weeks would have went by. No lie. Thank God that it was on my mind. And I said, I'm gonna call as soon as I left the office with the, the paper, I called that same day to make my appointment. Okay. So the the next the I made the appointment the same day, the appointment was for the next week. So I went that next week and for the ultrasound and um you know, ultrasound again I'm thinking they're gonna say it's normal, you know, get on out of here. And the ultrasound, she says, you know, we really can't tell you know what these lumps are we want to go a step further and do the a biopsy i was like okay you know so and in between them doing the ultrasound and checking i noticed that they were also like going pretty far up my arm with the ultrasound so at that time they were kind of just looking at my lymph nodes from an ultrasound standpoint so they scheduled me to return the very next week for the biopsy. So now we are at, we've got Christmas, the week after Christmas, and I actually had my biopsy done on the 19th of January. Um, somebody's asked me, do the lumps hurt? They do not hurt. They are just, I can just feel them with my hand. They don't hurt. Um, so now we're the 19th of January and I go in and I have the biopsy and it's a core biopsy. They're just taking really tiny, small tissues from those areas in the breast and they're putting markers in. They have these, these, um, different shape markers they are really tiny, but they're like shaped like, um, the breast cancer awareness sign. They had an S sign. They had a B sign, um, that they put these little tags where they took the biopsy so they would know they said normally it comes back by nine it's fine but that way when it comes up again we know where they are um and so they put those in again not thinking much about it i'm like this is gonna be fine i'm very healthy i've never had anything wrong and so i really didn't think too much about it um, and so I went on about my business. I actually had an OB appointment with Dr. Walters the day before the results come back. I'm like, we're still waiting on that. We're not thinking anything about it. It's going to be fine and move forward. And then she get, you know, gave me the call on the 24th of January. So we're, we're literally just, I think a day outside a month of me being diagnosed and I've already started treatment. So that's how fast that I've had to wrap my mind around being diagnosed, delivering, and starting treatment. I started treatment last week. So there's some questions here. Were the lumps moving? No, they don't move. They just, um, I mean, anybody that's ever ex been pregnant, again, I don't know what just lumps feel like because this is the first time I've experienced this, but it just felt like when you're getting ready to, like your milk's getting ready to come in, and it just felt kind of hard and lumpy in two specific areas. One of them felt like about this size. It felt like that big, which I'm sure they're not that big. And then the other one felt was really more um, elongated in feeling. And, and they're both just in one breast. And I felt them with my hand in my shower, just doing my regular shower, you know, moisturizing with lathering the soap type feel it wasn't you know it wasn't specifically looking for lumps but i could clearly identify that there were lumps in that breast but not the other breast um let's see questions the lumps don't hurt so i recommend anybody and i've been seeing this a lot women say how did i find out because i have them and i don't i don't feel comfortable getting them checked i'm scared to get them checked I'm worried about them. Okay, it's better to get them checked than not. So don't be afraid. Go get them checked, women. Please go get them checked. Um, yeah, I just found the lumps. Thank you. I had five C-sections myself. You're a strong woman of God. Thank you so much, you guys. I commend you for being so strong. I know you probably had your moment. Yeah, the last two days um, have been again eye opening and awakening for me with what this journey's going to look like but I'm here for it we're it's going to be okay it's going to be okay 
Okay, that's how I discovered mine in the shower. Yeah, you guys should be checking your breasts every time. Like every time I, you know, take my bra off is, you know, you get home from work, you take the bra off and do that, you know, feel around kind of stretch thing. You should be feeling it. Um, more than likely, I'm going to have to have a mastectomy, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Um, as I go through the treatment, they're going to make a final determination on that stage it is stage two right now which is very good from what they say um any risk factors no i don't have any family history so on my mom's side or on my dad's side like i'm the only child on my mother's side um i have a half sister on my dad's side you know my grandmother my grandmother on my father's side there she it's her and eight sisters and none of them I've never smoked a day in my life. Um, I have family members that have smoked and have never had cancer. So we're not sure I am getting the genetics done just because I have two daughters and a son. Um, but yeah, there's no risk factors there. And um, I, I mean, my medical records may be two, three pages because of my how healthy I've been. And me being a gestational carrier, I've had pretty extensive testing throughout my years to make sure that I'm qualified to be a gestational carrier and nothing. And then all of a sudden this. So, um, and it's not, it's not hormone related from what they're saying. So I don't want people to get worried or confused that this is directly associated with being a surrogate because that's not the case. And honestly, um, you know, anything that I've done in my life, I wouldn't do anything different. I wouldn't do anything different. I've gotten that question as well. You know, knowing what you know now, would you not have been a gestational carrier? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That wouldn't have changed anything about that for me. This would still be my story. Um, and God has a plan in all of this. I truly believe that. I've received multiple confirmations on it. So whatever that is, I'm going to get to the bottom of it and um, get through this. We, this is going to be a testimony at the end of the day. I truly do believe that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm having ultrasound on mine to be sure. That's good. Yes, absolutely. Get, get the necessary testing. It just amazes me the number of women that are are going through um, the same thing what are the thing you would recommend what are the thing that you would recommend for me as an egg donor um, I recommend that you be an egg donor I'm not sure if I'm misunderstanding your question but um, you can reword it for me and maybe I can answer it a little bit better recommend as an egg donor I felt a lump in my breast too and went to the doctor, did the ultrasound, but it was told it was only a cyst. Okay, I'm praying for you. Guys, his hands wrapped around you. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it. Yes, I've spoken to Candy. Um, they've reached out. All of them, a lot of them have reached out. You know, Shamia, they've been, you know, phenomenal in checking on me and I've been checking on her and, you know, baby Shiloh. And, it, you know, it's a lot for all of us as a group and a journey. So y'all just continue to continue to pray. Prayers are needed. I need all the prayer warriors that I can get. Just continue to pray for us as a whole. All this, everybody involved in this journey, we need prayer. Because the devil has been busy, but he's not going to stop no show. I had my first mammogram this month. Okay, that's awesome. And I actually, I had my first mammogram last year. When I went to Dr. Walters, I'm like, why are we doing a mammogram? I'm, what was I, 36 at the time? I was like, this is too soon. So it's June of 2021, I had my first mammogram, which was completely normal. I've never had, again, any breast issues or concern. There's no family history there. So I'm like, why are we doing a mammogram? And then in the 2020 year, 2022 year, we were, um, you know, doing the IVF and getting prepared for the surrogacy journey that I didn't have a mammogram last year. Um, but again, checking my breasts every month, every time I shower, basically on a regular basis. And literally these lumps appeared within 
uh, it felt like a month. I'm like, all of a sudden they were just there. All of a sudden they were just there. Going to you, are blessed. Thank you. My results were benign. Amen. That's awesome. 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 Like the number of women on this live that have had lumps, that have had um, positive diagnosis, it's just, it's just amazing to me. I found one in my left breast when I was 19. Ended up being two, but they were benign. So I can only imagine how it felt when you found them. Yep, Ashanti, it was... I mean, again, I didn't think anything of it. So when I found them, it was like, okay. Again, I am pregnant. My breast should be starting to prepare me to, um, to nurse. So they get lumpy and bumpy at this point. So I didn't think anything about it. This was the farthest thing for me thinking that this would... Um, be be cancerous at all so i have to do treatments every three weeks um at least six treatments of a, four different type of chemo medications and then um i'll have to do two of them at least another year and so we'll we'll see how that goes um i had my first treatment last week which was very intense and so i feel like i will be a little bit better prepared for my next treatment you guys have given me some great um, resources and suggestions with the, the the taste that you get in your mouth and some of the other uh, reactions that you get post treatment and i appreciate that you guys keep those coming in and helping me through this journey uh six year survivor stage two congratulations no i'm not pregnant now i delivered on valentine's day I delivered on Valentine's Day, and so that was the end of my surrogacy journey as far as me being a gestational carrier. That's it. I am through. I can't any. I'm done. I am done. So I will continue to support my intended parents. I actually have to get ready for a match meeting, but I wanted to to reach out and talk to you guys because I know you've been asking me to to um, connect and. Hopefully, if I've answered all your questions about how I found my lump, you guys don't be afraid. If you have a lump, get it checked out. Because as much as I thought that it would be nothing, as we can see, it can be something. So it's better to know than than not than not know. And again, I'm when I'm 38 years old. I'm, I'm not even. I got two years. That I get 40. I have my first mammogram at 36, also due to a lump. I found mine was benign. That's a blessing. Do you ever get to see the children after you have? Yeah, absolutely. I see them. Yeah, absolutely. I love seeing them with their parents. That kind of does it for me. Um, kind of does it, especially delivery day. Just seeing them uh, with their parents. Mastectomy. That's what they're saying. I'm not sure yet. So... That is um, something, the bridge that I will have to cross as I go through treatment. But I'm going to keep you guys, you know, updated as much as possible. Again, I know you guys have been praying for me. And I'm I'm so thankful to have some prayer warriors and people on the front line with me as we fight this fight. I'm truly, truly appreciate it. Truly appreciate it. You want to say hi? And then we're going to get ready. This is my, come on, come around. This is my baby boy. You look great. God bless. Always praying. I had lunch previous. It's all benign. You say, get in the camera, buddy. This is my baby. You say hi. He's not a baby anymore. Say hi. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh, why did you want to be a surrogate? Um, I wanted to be a surrogate just because I saw the need. I worked in OBGYN care and could see very quickly that there were a lot of women that needed help and it just it just fit for me it just seemed like the right thing to do and um, i wouldn't change a thing about it i would do it again I, I would do it again hi nia thank you you gotta have faith you gotta have faith that's that's just what makes it okay that's how you know it's gonna be okay because of faith and um I can't wait to get to that victory day. We're going to be having different kind of lives and a diff different kind of parties, celebrating. Cousin, I'm praying for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
No, I am not married. I would love to be a surrogate. Is this a lot that goes with it? There is a lot, but it's very rewarding. I would say if you have a heart to want to help, I'd say to do your research, learn about what you're signing up for, and um, I can definitely help you through it. But it is a lot. It's not just getting pregnant and carrying somebody's baby. There is a lot that you um, you have to consider when becoming a gestational carrier. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Praying for you as you've been a blessing to others. Thank you. Yeah. I've been blessed for a really long time. I have to t tell y'all a story. Um, my mom, you know my mom she used to pray for me and tell god to bless me and i did the same thing with my children from in womb and every child that i've carried you know lord bless this child bless this child my mom says i came to her when i was three years old just out of nowhere and said mommy i'm blessed and i truly believe that i truly believe that i am blessed and god has something special and you know he sometimes give his his chosen ones some of the hardest battles to fight and um I, i'm 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 here for it devil chose the wrong one he chose the wrong one so thank you guys thank you guys so much praying for you thank you are you just the carrier of the baby or the parents? Yeah, so in all scenarios, um, I just was a gestational carrier. There was not my eggs, not my embryos. They belong to the parents in all three of my surrogacy journeys. Dear God, wrap your arms around. Thank you so much. Here she goes, a difficult time. My daughter's birthday is on Valentine's Day as well. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, I think that's just special. We had her on Valentine's Day. That's That's memorable. Do you still keep in touch? Yep, I actually spoke to her this morning. You guys continue to keep her in prayer. Keep her lifted up. Her and baby Shiloh. Just keep continue to keep them in prayer. Keep us all in prayer as we transition. I mean, it's been a lot in a little bit of time. A little bit of time. A little bit of time. Okay, you guys. Well, I hate to go, but I wanted to do this live just to kind of talk about how I felt my lumps. And hopefully this helps someone to get checked. If you have lumps, you feel them yourself, get checked. If you don't feel comfortable checking them themselves, you go to your OBGYN at least once a year. They should be checking them. If you find something and they don't move forward with doing the necessary test to make sure it's benign, get you another doctor. Okay? Your health matters. If you ignore health, guess what? It'll go away, okay? And I love you. Love you all. See you guys soon. Stay blessed. That's awesome. And I'm praying for Shadina, her family, Shamia, her family, and everyone involved, and Baby Shallow and all of that. I've said it over and over again that I admire her positive outlook on everything that is happening, and so I wish her the best. And I also admire her strength. Now, normally I give my opinion on things that I talk about, but I want your opinion on this. She did not talk these beautiful maternity pictures. She looked beautiful, like I said, and she wrote this as a caption. It's on the screen. And she received a lot of beautiful comments. I have some of them on the screen. But then there were some people who felt like the images were insensitive because she's doing a maternity shoot carrying someone else's child that they couldn't carry due to medical issues and that she's being insensitive. And I'm like, I'm sure she asked for permission. Let's start there. So if the parents didn't mind, then she's not doing anything wrong. And then you have people saying things like, well, maybe the parents said go ahead because they did not want to be the ones to tell her no. So normally, like I said, I give my opinion on things, but I want your opinion. How do you feel about this? I mean, based on the comments, it's beautiful. Thank you for helping people. You're bringing life and all of this. 
and then you have those people who are saying that this is insensitive let me know how you feel in the comments below shadina thank you again for everything you've done for these amazing women and everything that your company is doing as well and we should all of you well into care i love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless <laughs>